Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Spacefarers. Welcome to Starfield. I'm Cobalt Thorin. And in this episode, we, or in the previous episode, we just got attacked by terror morphs here at the spaceport. Much damage. Bloodstains. Horror. Let's chat with these folks. Whoa, this person's dead. I thought, wait, what? You were just, wait, what? Wasn't this person just like treating this person? How did they die? I can still feel it poking around in my head. That's not good. Am, am I going checked. to be all right? Nope. It's over for you. It, it moves so fast. Jeez, they have a lot of dialogue. Not now, okay. I can still feel it poking around in my head. Let's see if you have anything new. In the middle of something here. What? What is it? <laughs> I'm scared? sorry. These people need me. In the middle of something here. Who are you scared? I'm sorry. These people need me. Yeah, I'm be scanning his feet. So it's going away. In the middle of something here. I'm sorry, these people need me. Please. Ah, just leave me alone. Am, am I going to be alright? Okay, same message as, as she had. Let's get out of here. Steal the trunk pack. So fast. You're not the doctor. You anti Xeno squad? Well, you should be. You take care of those things? Thank God. You anti Xeno squad? Well, you should be. I just want to get the reactions. You know, when something big like this happens, you know, a whole bunch of custom messages and stuff like that. Not the usual rigmarole. I think that's the term. See if she's got anything new to say. You're cleared to head back up. Those people are getting treated now. Don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up when you did. Well, I wouldn't have attacked if she didn't show up. She's a monster. We lost so many today. And they're all her fault. They said you all saved the city down there. Thank you. Saved it after she planted the monsters in the city. My partner's all right. He's getting stitched up instead of zipped up, thanks to you. It's a pretty good turn of phrase. My partner's all right. He's getting stitched up instead of zipped up, thanks to you. All right. I think she did it. In fact, it seems like they're kind of hinting by the fact that the science person here uh, Thank you, gentlemen. It's like, this is suspicious. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. We're yes, counting on you, Captain. Ah, there you Don't are. Don't let my people sacrifice I believe be in vain. We have some things we should discuss. Yes. Arrest her. You've got the cabinet's full backing to prevent more attacks. Understand? She did it to get your support. Anyway. Let's talk to We're on All you need to concern yourself with right now is collecting that data. Unfortunately, it's quite the conundrum you two have uncovered, but we'll get to the bottom of it. You're going to need a place to do all this work, but I think I know just the spot. It's quite the conundrum you two have uncovered, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Those creatures killed UC citizens. They're not killing anymore. Work done today. 
Did you actually go down there and fight those things? <laughs> was it really terramorphs in the city? Yes. Did you actually go down there and fight those things? All right. Who else haven't we talked My to? My officers were unprepared for what happened at the spaceport. <clears throat> the next time terramorphs that. rear their ugly heads, the UC is going to be ready. Losing anyone in the line of duty is a tragedy. These attacks, they can't happen again. Heroes were minted down at that spaceport, and that includes you. I'm not dead. When you see security loses an officer, I make it my responsibility to call their family. I've got a lot of calls to make now. Losing anyone in the line of duty is a tragedy. These attacks... The loss of life. They can't Damage happen to again. to the spaceport. You've got the cabinet's full backing to prevent more attacks. Understand? All right, I guess that's everything. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. She did it. Your concerns about the Terramorphs? Well, consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, thank you for... Um, believing me now because I, yeah. <laughs> Quick question. How does one leave the Vanguard after that experience from concerning retirement? I take my gratitude and credits, real estate or luxury goods. That's pretty funny. Agreed. Thank you. And it's going to be one of these. I don't really like this bottom one. Let's go with the quick question. Well, unfortunately, that might not be in the cards for a while. Now, after today's events, the cabinet has decided to revisit its previous decision. Of course you did. We will be supporting your collection of the Terramorph data from the archives. So that she can weaponize more of them. As well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. The right place for her as is in prison. Such, the cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of major. No. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Uh, yes Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Oh, Excellent. My goodness, they're falling right into But as trap. you both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first... We're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Can we convince someone them not who to? knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now? The cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative. Me? Why not send a diplomat? Some trained for this sort of thing. The cabinet wants progress and wants it quickly. You're already far more familiar with the situation than any diplomat would be. There's also no diplomat alive that can claim they helped keep a cadre of terramorphs off the embassy doorsteps. The cabinet was unanimous. They want you. Tell me what I'm getting first and I'll consider it. Or I can't be your representative. I'm just some vanguard nobody. Or if you're sure that's the wisest course of action. I'm going to go with uh, Vanguard Nobody. No, I might go with this. Tell me what I'm getting first. Because at this point, I'm convinced that she, she did it. I mean, the timing is like... Okay. <laughs> so there's the, uh, like... Um, uh, uh, what what there's a latin phrase for like who benefits uh, when there's like a murder or something like that if you it's need like, a moment by all means take it it's like who benefited from the terramorphs attacking like at that moment it was like way too convenient like almost i mean it was ridiculous <laughs> let's be honest like um yeah she i'm i'm pretty convinced that hadrian did it so, I want to resist this. The very next item on my list. In exchange, we're willing to fast-track your citizenship upon collection of the data. 
So can we count on you both? You two won't have any issues continuing to work together? She's a murderer. It, I, it won't be an issue for me, ma'am. I suppose I can understand the captain's hesitance in accessing the archives. But now, well, the situation's changed for all of us. Excellent. Captain? You can count on me, ma'am, or if Hadrian's willing, I am. That doesn't mean, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to speak my mind or let me think about it. Uh, and what do I get for being UC, a UC citizen? It has its perks. Only citizens can purchase property in the city. We also pay reduced prices on most goods and services across the UC. There's also a credit disbursement when you first join. Help get you on your feet. But above all, you'd become a dedicated part of the greatest faction in the galaxy. If you're willing to help us, we can open that door. I don't like any of these answers. Um, let's just say, let me think about it and see what happens. So be it. But I would ask you don't take too long. The fate of the settled systems may rest on your decision. My officers were unprepared for what happened at the spaceport. Well, I guess we don't really I have a choice, do that. we? The next time have you reconsidered? Their ugly heads, Will you help UC the UC gain access to the Armistice Archives? You could be a UC citizen tomorrow if you get the job done. Uh, I don't want to credit Hadrian at all because I think that she's the bad guy here. So I'm going to say you can count on me, ma'am. I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. Heroes were minted down in that You're space. You're dismissed. That includes I'm you. I'm gonna go check in with Chief Engineer Kulkarni. Start getting a plan together for that data. The things we do here, the tech we develop, benefits all of humanity. You're going to need a place to do all this work, but I think I know just the spot. All you need to concern yourself with right now is collecting that data. So it seems like she's talking By about way, some Captain, future Sergeant thing. Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Oh, really? Hey. Chief Yassin, these orders can't be... Yes. Yes, sir. Consider it done. You gonna talk to us? That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassin's second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also told the President wants us to get you into the Armistice Archives ASAP. So, I've got no time to waste. You know what the Archives are, correct? Yes. Uh, they're the repositories for all the banned data from the colony war, or let's pretend I don't have the slightest idea. We do know what it is, but I want to get her take in case there's any new nuggets of information. Huh. All right. We'll start at the beginning. When the colony war ended, the UC and Freestar Collective came to the agreement some weapons needed to be off limits. Mechs. Xeno warfare. So they gathered up all the relevant research materials and sealed that information away. Terramorph data included in the archives here in the city. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. The ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. 
Uh, what can you tell me about these codes? Can we forge them? No. Each is a strip of several million random numbers generated on the fly based on biometric keys kept by each of the ambassadors on their person at all times. They're impossible to create without those keys, and those keys stay with the ambassadors, meaning we're accessing nothing if we can't get them on our side. Sure doesn't sound easy, or no problem. I'm just going to need some electrodes, a tooth extractor, and some sodium pentothal. Or you'd think they'd be clamoring to help after the spaceport attack. I like the... F she seems like a very serious person, so I want to do this middle one. Very funny. This is going to be hard enough already. Both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Um, I, I'd like to start with Varun, but I think we're actually going to start with, uh, like, I'd like to get into Varun just because it's, we haven't been there, um, and that might be exciting, but, uh, R Radcliffe might be, we might have to work our, well, our way up to Balmore, so let's go with Radcliffe. Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Hmm. It sounds as though I will enjoy this. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. All right. I think you're underestimating how delightful I am. <laughs> or no one can be that stubborn. New Atlantis was just attacked. Yeah, but she was not attacked unless she lives in New Atlantis. Um, the House for Rune embassy is abandoned, so I have to assume that... Well, I mean... Yeah, I suppose the Free Star Embassy uh, ambassador is probably here, but. All right. Tell me about these other tools then. I, I'm going to go with the sarcastic one. Huh. Well, if that's the case, I'll wait to be pleasantly surprised. But we do have one item up our sleeve. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the ambassador's living quarters which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. Mm. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Report suggests there's a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for intel. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Jeez, these people are horrible. <laughs> like, why would you trust the UC for anything? They, you know, despite their very formal uniforms and, like, showy, like, mast building and stuff like that, these guys are, like, extremely duplicitous. Um, that's all the info I need for the moment on Ambassador Ratcliffe or any uh, any other things I should avoid doing inside the embassy or what can you tell me about the staff member we'll go with uh, any other things I should avoid doing inside the embassy yes many don't steal anything don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to absolutely do not harm anyone if something goes wrong we'll do our best to smooth things over but I can't make any promises uh, what can you tell me about, about the staff member? Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe, 
bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of embassy life, and someone who very likely hates her guts. All right, that's all the info I need. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. Actually, I need to take care of something first. Wait. Hmm. All right, weird. Hmm. What does this actually say for our quest? What? Wait, 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 wait. We already spoke to Deputy McIntyre. What's going on here? Oh, is this bugging out? Captain, would you like to finish your briefing on the ambassador? I, but you already told me about Fred Clough. Official line is that you're to negotiate. My suggestion is to access the listening device in her quarters to get... She's also got a staff member. All right, well, um, I guess we just ask about both. Uh, tell me about Ambassador Balmore of House Faroon. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Uh, no argument here. Veros, uh, Veros. House Faroon seem like nothing but a bunch of madmen. Okay, Andrea is not gonna like that. Uh, why? What's wrong with House Faroon? We'll go with that. Well, these days they're primarily considered a security threat. House Faroon zealots, a fundamentalist outshoot of the group that stayed behind when the rest retreated into seclusion, want nothing more than to send everyone not dedicated to their cause to the great serpent in the sky. That hasn't always been the case. After they ended the Serpent's Crusade about 70 years back, House Faroon did take a real run at trying to normalize relations with the rest of the galaxy. It's why they have an embassy here in the first place, why they were included in the armistice negotiations. But then, without warning, they left, leaving behind, to our knowledge, just the ambassador and his duty under the armistice. Uh, that actually sounds promising, or I'm sure he can be reasoned with House Faroon are people just like us. What if they're not? What if there are great serpent spawn in their brains or something, like some kind of brain worm? Um, no argument here. House Faroon seem like nothing but a bunch of madmen. So Andrea wouldn't like that. Andrea would like this. I'm just going to go with... That sounds pretty promising. It does, but there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Oh, no. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. I'll track him. Or here's hoping we're not chasing a corpse. Or what kind of life signs did you detect in the embassy? We'll go with that. The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish making it hard for us to verify what's Flora and what's Ambassador. Well, that sounds interesting. Wait, so nobody's actually been inside the Embassy? The Embassy is still legally House Varun's sovereign territory, so we're not technically permitted inside. We've snuck in the occasional spy, of course, but the Ambassador has proven more evasive than you'd expect for a man of his age. But we're quite sure he hasn't left the city. The man stands out. What do I do if he's dead? 
Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin. If we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Alright, I'll track him down. Or here's hoping we're not chasing a corpse. We'll go with that. It would at least be a speedier negotiation. But I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. All right, let's see I'd this is suggest everything. you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. All right, let's go. Here on Vanguard business? I still think Hadrian did it. That's what's gonna... That's the way it's gonna turn out. Now see, if they were really smart, what they would do is they'd have Hadrian have done it. And... At this point, I'm gonna say that that's... Maybe a suspicion that everyone should have. Ah, uh, yes. They build a monument to the people they lost, but not the people they killed. Wow. I cannot help but notice that the Colony War Memorial is in direct line of sight of this embassy. I suspect that was very much intentional. All right. So yeah, what they should do is they should have it so that Hadrian actually did bring out the terramorph and that she's behind all of it or not all of it but she's behind it and then you should find out that she's doing it f uh, for the UC that they're looking for an excuse to start up bio uh, xeno weapon research again that would be cool that would be like the cool way to do it you are a visitor You'll find the ambassador. Especially if you make it like extremely sympathetic towards the UC at first. What you have here? I wonder how many times one side or the other has threatened to close this embassy down over the years. Been down here before. There might be some Free Star magazine around here somewhere. That'd be neat. Mm. Let's talk to her first before we try to do any kind of weird shenanigans. and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. All right. This building is Freestar Sovereign Territory, so in here, we're the law. Sounds like it was a real mess down at the spaceport. Indeed it was. Guests can make themselves comfortable in the lobby. Official business? 
Talk to the ambassador. Hello, ambassador. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? I'm here on behalf of the United Colonies. We need Freestyle Collective's help. I'm Molly, UC Vanguard. You and I need to talk, Ambassador. I'm a lady who wants to stop more terror morph attacks. Well, I've got a deal for you. Uh, I'm gonna go with the... I'm gonna go with um, I'm here on behalf of the United Colonies. Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Uh, you heard correctly. We need access to the archives. Or, uh, you need to help us. Otherwise, any more deaths are on your hands. Or, nope, they sent me to beg. Please, please. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, please. I kind of like that. Oh, stop. You're embarrassing yourself. Indeed. Yes, I would request the same. This is unpleasant to watch. <laughs> See, even your compatriot can't stomach such a sorry display. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I agree. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? Please, Ambassador, just listen to what I have to say, or fine, I'll just figure out, uh, figure this out some other way. Or are you serious? There's just an attack in the city. You're not going to help us? Let's start with that. Actually, that sounds like it, it's going to be a final dismissal. Let's go with Persuade. You're really going to push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. Just one? Why didn't that work? I'm listening. Looks like we have three chances. Terramorph Xeno Weapons Project was a failure. That knowledge isn't dangerous. You know that for sure? Nope. That is interesting. Every moment we spend in this debate is time not spent fixing the Terramorph problem. We could go all the way up. A Free Star Ranger. I know right from wrong when I see it. The UC is trying to do right here. I don't know that, but let's go with it. I don't care if you're the God Emperor of Neon. I won't make the same mistake you are right now. Uh-oh. Um, there was an attack on your doorstep, You're not, and you're going to do what? Nothing? I'm oh, sorry, man, we're done. but acting just because you're afraid doesn't justify the action. Captain, I'm sorry, but my answer is not changing. The UC is just gonna have to find another way. Now, I presume you can see yourself out. All right, I guess we're gonna do this the hard way. Thoughts. is an absolute oh sorry oh what yellow you're, eyes. you're the vanguard captain right what's up with that you know I, I was about to board the nat to the spaceport when the alarm triggered sounds like i got real lucky and like i've got you to thank for things not being a lot uglier you did get lucky it was a war zone down there or uh, just doing my duty <laughs> or I have a lot of respect for the city and its residents, unlike some people around here. I'm gonna go with the war zone. Well, then you have my earnest thanks. But, but look, they said you were coming here on official business. The ambassador likes to handle all that personally, even if she does have trained diplomats here to help her. 
And I don't want to get shipped back to Aquila City, so you should probably go speak to her. Uh, sounds like you could be doing a lot, uh, doing more, a lot more, like working with me. Or, I'm aware of your skills, Mr. Long. That's why the UC sent me along to speak to you. Or, I'll check in with her, thanks. I'm gonna go with the top one, I don't want to lie to this kid. You want to work with me? I... Why don't we talk somewhere, uh, a bit more private? So you want me to work with you, but why now? Why me? We need help preventing more terror morph attacks, and we're not expecting the ambassador's support. Or I'm not liberty. I'm not at liberty. It said, ah, not at liberty to say. This came from the very top. I'm gonna just like this is not gonna convince them. So I'm gonna go with. We need help preventing more terror morph attacks. No, I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. And no other city should have to go through what happened here. So then, uh, what would you need from me? <laughs> I need you to get me the ambassador's archi archival access code. Or I need access to her quarters without being seen. Or can you get me access to the archival code machine? I'm going to go, I think that we should go with the bug and try and blackmail her. Her quarters. Huh. Well, that's doable. And you and the UC will be providing me with what for my services? I've got a, a thousand credits with your name on it. Um, the diplomatic office will bring you in as an operative. Put your talents to use. Well, you know what? I had to clear something with my superiors. I'll be right back. A thousand credits is not a lot. Oh, wait. I thought you were looking to hire me. Oh, I'm not taking a bribe. Uh, I guess we need to go bigger then. Eight thousand credits. Uh oh. Uh, <clears throat> that much, huh? Uh, okay. No, okay, yeah. Okay, so... There's a utility corridor that leads to the ambassador's quarters, which you can access through the main conference room. Here, the key. Whatever you do, don't let the guard see you entering or exiting the utility section, or you're gonna be in serious hot water. I'll, uh, I'll keep an ear out for more instructions from the UC. Alright, I guess that's that. In here is this a bathroom? Bedroom. Yeah, let's just take a let's just take a quick peek around and see what we got here. On these lower floors, some lockers. Alright. There's another room over here. It's locked. Office space. This must be his room. Right. Shower. Um, what's he smoking here? Junk flush? Oh, so he's trying a bunch of drugs, huh? Need to flush that out of his system, huh? Sorry. Everyone's a little on edge after the attack. 
Stairs yet. So that's locked. You're allowed three places conference room, lobby, or the ambassador's office. If you set foot anywhere else, there's going to be problems. So we can't go in there, huh? All right, they said that the, uh, there's an access off the conference room, right? Well, here's the conference room. Probably have saved. Let's save while we're here. Save. doing lady unless we're supposed to be in here let's close this door the demise of somebody else on the council. Did I not make myself abundantly clear, Captain? You're not getting access to the archives. I know your plan to replace someone on the council, Governors. Actually, I'm surprised that the second option comes up again. Are you serious? There's just a tech in the city. Is that going to help us? No, Captain, I'm not, and I'll tell you why. What you experienced down there at the spaceport, I've lived that once before already. Fought tooth and nail as aliens rampaged in the streets of my home and others all throughout the Collective. But my aliens were placed there by UC hands. So I'm not interested in anyone getting power like that ever again. The UC, most of all. What if I told you that the Terramorphs couldn't be weaponized? Would that change your mind? You have my answer. Now please take the hint. I know about your plans to replace someone on the Council of Governors. E excuse me? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. 
There's evidence. I imagine bad things would happen if your boss is found out, or the UC is more powerful than you can imagine. We know all your secrets. Or don't play dumb ambassador. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I like the bottom one. Uh, uh, no, no. If the council found out, I'd lose my position. I'd be exiled. Excuse me. I'd be... Look, I believe we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. The issue at hand is one of trust, no? So perhaps if I can trust you to keep this little secret between us, then maybe we can find a way to trust the UC with access to the archives. Isn't that horrible? I'm gonna take some time to think about it, or you call that a negotiation without even offering me a gift. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't want to push my luck that far. Fine, but I, <laughs> but I want you to beg me not to turn you in. Uh, let's not... Let's not push it too far. You got yourself a deal. Good. Good. I appreciate you working with me. Just like I'm sure our great powers will. In fact, I think there's an opportunity here. Keep both our factions happy and ensure an air of legitimacy to the whole proceeding. I can only I like let you get the information it. on the Terramorphs. Anything else and people will get suspicious. And all research will need to be monitored. Free Star Scientific Observers making sure everything's being used for the right purposes. But those two items should be enough to allay any suspicions. Well, it's not enough to allay my suspicions. I'm pretty sure Hadrian is going to use them to make horrible weapons. Alright, so uh, I can agree to those terms. Or that plus my negotiation fee, <laughs> it seems like. It should all work out for the uh, just great. Or pass... You're in no position to bargain now. Yeah, I can agree to these terms. Good. Good. Okay. Let's go get you your access. All right. They tell me it should only take a moment. And there. It's a punch card? Cute. Here you go. Uh, I hope that'll be enough to maintain your discretion. All right. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's a punch card. Oh, it might be genetics. I see C's and A's, but no G's and T's. All right. <clears throat> Guests can make themselves comfortable in the lobby. Actually, I want to quickly just take another peek at this. You know what? We should. <clears throat> it would have been even better if we had like broken in and gotten the the key that way. That way, there's like no. Um, what would you say? Uh, the there would be no buy-in at all from um, Free Star Collective, and they could accuse the UC of violating the terms of the treaty because I do I would really like them to get back to having a nice big old space war I don't know if that's going to be a possibility but yeah we should probably wrap this one up here so thank you very much for joining me I hope that you enjoyed this and if you have please like maybe comment maybe share maybe subscribe new episodes every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. I'm Cobalt Thorium, and I hope to catch you in the next one where where we will go into House Varun's uh, embassy here and see what happened to the ambassador. So I hope that's interesting to you, and I hope to catch you in, in the next one. Bye-bye.